Now that pump that Mr. Cheney has is called a VAD. That's short for ventricular assist device. We recently met a Caldwell County man who just got one implanted in his chest and helps his heart do its work. As Letty, Leslie Rohde found out, it's changing lives like you wouldn't believe. Ronald Bro loves a good walk. That's a go. I'm feeling good. But before he checked in here at Seton Medical Center in Austin, a walk like this was out of the question. I used to not be able to walk out the house without being tired. And uh, had to let my garden go because I couldn't take care of it. When he was just in his mid-40s, Ronald was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. His only option, a heart transplant. Until now. At 57, Ronald got a ventricular assist device, or VAD, implanted right below his heart. Think of it as an artificial heart. The FDA recently approved this VAD for use in patients who are not waiting for a heart transplant, but plan on living with the VAD for possibly the rest of their lives. There are patients that have heart failure or weakening of the heart muscle that's so severe that it's very difficult to do really anything. What this VAD does is really pretty simple. It helps the heart do its job, pump blood, brings it from the left side of the heart up through the aorta and out into the body. So two of these batteries will last approximately about 12 hours. Patients can easily carry batteries and the pump strapped to their bodies, much different than the bulkier, older model, so they're mobile for everyday activities. Um, in college, I actually worked in a bioengineering lab, so I got to see a lot of these things from the ground up, and it's just amazing to see them come to fruition and how they really change and enhance people's lives. For Ronald, getting back to the little things on his Caldwell ranch will be a big change. I'll go fishing, I'll go hunting, I'll go work my garden, I'll work my yard. There's nothing I ain't planning on not being able to do. Good for him. Seton Medical Center in Austin, one of about 100 facilities in the country using the VAD right now. Scott and White Hospital in Temple also uses them. The cost, about $250,000 that some insurance will cover. And we've got an extended interview with Mickey Mark right now. You can find it under the health tab.